What is up everybody, it's Wishfear Master, and I'm bringing you some, uh, some Call of Duty Black Ops, but this is going to be something that you've never seen on my channel before, and it's going to be some sniping gameplay. And it's actually the first time I have ever, in the three Call of Duties that I've played, tried to actively run around and, uh, and do the quickscoping thing. I'm not, I don't know, it just never appealed to me. To me, Sniper was, how does that not hit that guy? I, I don't get it. But, to me, Sniper was always a long-range rifle and a long-range class and so when Treyarch you know decided to nerf the sniper rifle to at the beginning of this game I wasn't really all that disappointed I was actually kind of happy because it was going to get them off of my team basically I was sick and tired in Modern Warfare 2 of having all these little mini grizzes spinning off shit and jumping off buildings and jumping off the map and 1080 YY back shot no scope rape face shot crap and it just, I just got really sick of it so I was actually kind of happy that they decided to to nerf it and when they did it, it stopped that and domination became what it's supposed to be a viable playlist but with the I guess somewhat recent update I'm not sure exactly when it was done they basically, they didn't bring it back to Modern Warfare 2 status but I've heard it compared to pretty much what it was in COD 4 and I don't know if that's true or not because I've never played that game, but it's it's turned domination lobbies into sniper lobbies again. And I got really, really, uh, you see me way over aim there. I'm going to stop and change my sensitivity right here in a minute, you'll see. And it's turned domination into sniper lobbies again. And it's, I don't know, I've gotten really sick of it. The only, the only playlist I ever play really is the competitive playlist. But I got tired of, like, I just got tired of it today, so I tried to jump in. It's a reg regular domination. And of the 12 people, and this is not including myself, so I guess of the other 11 people, I think 8 of them were using sniper rifles. So I was just like, what is going on with this right now? And so I decided, oh, sorry about that, it's my phone. I decided to... I was like, you know what, I'm bored of the competitive playlist, like, it, it was awesome, it's cool, it's still fun, but I want something else to do, and I know you guys really don't like seeing other games other than Call of Duty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a conscious effort to learn how to snipe and how to quickscope, and um, that's one of the only real good, sh well, I guess one of the only one-shot kills I get in this game, I get, I think, one or two others that are, that I would consider decent, but, um, so I'm going to make a conscious effort to to learn how to snipe, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. The reason I'm posting this video was because this is the first, the first game I played when I decided I was going to do this. So it's not the best game I got um, tonight, and it's, not, it's really not good in any stretch of the imagination. But I wanted to post the first game so I could uh, give you guys a realistic outlook on where I started and where I'm going to try and end up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Netflix Fridays and I'm going to try and post a video every Monday and Wednesday Monday Wednesday and Friday and I know I've said this before but I think I really am able to keep that schedule now uh, my like real life schedule is a little more set in stone a little more permanent and regular so I'm going to try everything I can to post a video on Monday and Wednesday and one of those will be a sniper video, one will probably be of the competitive list, and then Friday will be whatever I feel like posting because it's more about the commentary, and it'll be the Netflix Fridays. Um, I actually have, I think, the next three weeks worth of Netflix Fridays recorded because I just spend so much time on there every time I watch something um, that I have a pretty strong opinion about, either positively or negatively, I decide to, uh, to record a commentary. How did that not hit either of those guys? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and learn how to snipe. I know that's not what my channel was, you know, started as or built on, and I'm not gonna make every video a sniper video. That's just not me. I'm not Hutch or Grizz or Muzzafuzza or, you know, any of those other people, Moody Swede, Small Beans, any of those guys. Um, A, I'm not nearly as good at it, so I would have to play this game way too much in order to get videos that are actually postable. And two, I just don't enjoy it, I think, the way they do. But private lobbies or I'm oh, sorry public lobbies are just they're boring at this point they uh the competitive list spiced it up a little bit but at this point 
even that has kind of become stale because you're getting too many too many people without headsets, too many squeakers, too many jerk holes that are just running around jumping off crap 360 no scopes. Um, so I've gotten to the point where I'm try I was trying to figure out what I could do to make the game challenging again or make the game fun again. And I think that me working towards this goal of trying to at least become average to above average um, on, you know, using quick scoping, I think that will give me something to work towards and it will, you know, make, make the game fun again. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was the May 21st, 2011. Uh, that happened on Saturday. Well, that date happened on Saturday. And surprisingly enough, the... Uh, the 90-year-old nutbag, religious douche nozzle, that uh, from Oakland, California, him, he was wrong, and apparently he is perplexed and confused, and has to really do his calculations and research again to figure out what went wrong. Um, but yeah, we're still here. Hello, like it just. I don't know, I don't understand those kind of people. I don't understand if they really genuinely believe it or if they're just crazy. But uh like there's all kinds of stories about, you know, people spending their life fortune on huh, see that was a good shot right there. People spending their life fortune on um advertisements to to let everybody know that you know, that the world was coming to an end and well it didn't come to an end and now they have no money. So, yeah, I always wondered if those people really believe it. Oh, look at this guy get saved by the end of the game. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me know if uh, any tips on how to be a better sniper because I suck at it. And what you guys think about those, like, uh, radical religious groups that come up with that. Do you think they really believe it or do you think it's just a scam for publicity and money? Uh, so, thanks, guys. This is Wish for Your Master signing out.